This magnificent seven of writers, directors, and creators have us convinced that 2021 will be the unprecedented and groundbreaking sequel that we so desperately need. Surround yourself with people who affirm you. On this IM Debrief, we present seven compelling and original voices we can't wait to hear more from. These are our ones to watch in 2021. No annual studio slate would be complete without a new superhero movie, or six. So let's begin with a comics crew trio who are shaking things up at Marvel and DC. First, Sundance sensation Nia DaCosta is set to direct Captain Marvel 2 for 2022. But in 2021, she'll hook you in with her hotly anticipated twist on the Candyman franchise from her co-writer slash producer slash horror auteur, Jordan Peele. He had a purpose for you be another one of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. Second, Chloe Zhao is another indie pioneer who was snapped up by Marvel to direct its 2021 cosmic epic Eternals, starring Angelina Jolie, Salma Hayek, and Kit Harington. But before Eternals, she has Nomadland, an Oscar favorite after winning the People's Choice Award at the Toronto International Film Festival. The film is a quietly powerful road trip with the always incredible Frances McDormand. I need work. I like work. Lastly, from the pulpy pages of Heroes, and third on our Ones to Watch list, is writer Christina Hodson, who will flip the script on The Flash for IT director Andy Muschietti. The crafty Birds of Prey writer who broke out of Paramount's Transformers think tank with the heartfelt Bumblebee is also set to inject new life into her third DC adaptation in a row, Batgirl. That's not awfully PC. What about bad person or bad woman? Fourth on our list is Jonathan Krizel, a comedy trailblazer behind Portlandia, Kroll Show, Baskets, and most recently, Moonbase 8 on Showtime. He'll make his feature-length debut writing and directing Sesame Street with Anne Hathaway and Chance the Rapper, plus music by Bo Burnham. But will he envision Burton and Ernie as weird as his breakout series, Tim and Eric? We kind of hope he does. I'm sorry. Back to the drawing board. Fifth is filmmaker Lee Isaac Chung, who broke out of the 2007 Cannes Film Festival with his Rwanda set Munyarangabo and collected the 2020 Sundance Grand Jury Prize for Minari, a semi-autobiographical tale of his own family's immigration from South Korea to a farm in Arkansas. He'll follow up Minari's 2021 awards run with a live-action adaptation of the highest-grossing anime film of all time, 2016's fantastical romance Your Name. Sixth is Michaela Cole, a deeply insightful writer, director, producer, actor who devastated our 2020 with her primal scream series, I May Destroy You. Cole is still hatching her follow up, but whatever's next from this young innovator will be on our watch list. Are you going to miss me? Number seven and our final one to watch in 2021 is John M. Chu, the director who broke box office records with 2018's Crazy Rich Asians, already has two sequels in the world. Works. Plus, he's in talks for three projects at Disney, a Swiss Family Robinson series with Ronald D. Moore, a live-action adaptation of Lilo and Stitch, and a Willow series with Ron Howard. Not to mention that he's definitely got Lin-Manuel Miranda's next big-screen musical, In the Heights, in the can, for 2021. I've been saving up all my pennies in my piggy bank for this day. This is going to be an emotional roller coaster. For more to look forward to in 2021 and beyond, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief. 